Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Kenneth and Rhino are here drinking a beer sent to us by Dale, also known as Brew By Me. This is the St. Ambrose Vintage Ale. The Vintage Ale is an extra strong ale, 10% alcohol, from the St. Well, McLaughlin Brewing Company in Quebec. <clears throat> um, this is a barley wine by style. It's a vintage of 2011, so I should have probably aged it a little bit longer than I did, but you know what? I only had one bottle. I have to drink it. If I had two, you know, there'd be one in the box on the other side of the basement. I love extra strong ales. You know, like, like Fax Extra Strong? <laughs> I love it. I don't think this is going to be like Fax Extra Strong. Well, we'll see. Or the or Crest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't do the, the Colt 45 Crest. Uh, I don't do that stuff. But this is this is a malt, right? Like, is that, the, is that what it is? This is gangster beer? Come oh, gangster is, beer? No. <laughs> this is like rock machine beer? No. <laughs> Wait, no, I guess they're not gangsters, are they? <laughs> There's some left in the, in the bottle for you guys. Thanks. Now, mm. I've only had, I don't know, five or six barley wines thus far in my, my time. I've had two or three really good ones, and one or two really 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 bad ones um i love the color it's that nice orange color hazy the head looks nice when when it's poured the way ken pours cool. I'm, just, I'm just trying to keep it real man it smells really good yeah nice and fruity it does it smells really Almost good bubble gum like very sweet you can get an alcohol astringency on the nose but i mean it's 10 percent alcohol it says it's supposed mm. to serve it warm. Yes. This isn't warm. No. Good. I hate warm beer. You notice I'm keeping a lot of my hand on it just to warm it up a little bit. Well, no, you don't have to. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's drink it. It smells really good. I'm looking forward to this. We'll see. Oh, I like that. Well, it's bitter in the end. I, I love the bitter. That's a really good barley wine. <laughs> oh, <I yeah>. <laughs> it's good. Get a good mouthful and swish it around, man. It's good stuff. Oh, I am getting the bubblegum thing you were talking about. Here, I have a, a sniff in the glass just to... Mmm, okay. <sighs> smells boozy. It is boozy. It's, it's throat warming. Oh, this stuff is dangerous. Super, it's... super sweet at the forefront. Nice and malty, nice and roasty. The background comes, it's like a roasted coffee bitterness. Just hints of it though. Yeah. Just, just enough to say hello. It sits in the back of your throat, just saying hi, being like, hey, guess what? Just have a sip of this. No? This, this kind of beer, I mean the kind of person I am, this kind of beer I buy like four pack of or six pack of, and I drink this while playing online more, more video games like Warcraft or or Star Wars Online, because, yeah, just saying, it's good. But I'm really liking the French beer, like the Quebec here, so they, they, got, they, got, they got something going on. This is saying, it's good. Uh, I found the Quebec beer market is really, really interesting, because the stuff is either horrendous, sugar-fortified, high-gravity swill, or really, really good craft. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> like I was working in St. John last year and I tried out a, a, a potpourri, a selection of them. And, uh, yeah, they were, they were all really good. That, yeah, you know, like what, like Le Cheval Blanc and stuff like that. It was all tasty stuff. White horse. And this, White horse. Yeah, White horse. I know. And, um, <clears throat> it, it's good. Yeah. You know? And this, this, this is right up there. It's, and it's got a griffin on it. <laughs> oh, sweet. I, I. I'm very, very impressed with this. There's not much to talk about. I mean, the flavors are very complex, but they're hard to pick out each different flavor. They're they're well balanced. They're well well masked with each other, mushed in together. Very sweet and roasty. Very roasty and bitter on the finish. <laughs> really, if you like barley wines, it's great. If you like the extra strong stuff, it's great. If you want a really nice ale, it's great. Um, I'd give it an eight five, yeah, easily. I would give it an eight five. Almost, I, I would give it a nine even. Like I I don't even know what barley wine is, but uh. For extra strong ale, um, ten percent. It, it's tasty. It is good stuff. This this is this is excellent beer. 
Yeah, I love it. Eight? I'd give him a nine. I'd give him a nine. Barley dance? No. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> You gotta remember, you gotta make a barley dance that we all can do in case we give a nine to something. A barley dance. Yep. Oh, well, we're supposed to remember what how these dances work. Yeah. The video helps. Well, yeah, you video get an really 8.5, you gotta dance too. No, that's a nine and up. No, it was 8.5. Oh, no, no, it was nine and up. Lies. No. We will prove how how you can wrong. you turn this bar into we, a travesty of lies? We can prove you wrong with... Video With all the video evidence. No, yeah. no, no. There is no wrong. The island of Formosa was not colonized by Germans. It's actually Taiwan. <laughs> I, in fact, cannot pronounce German to save my life. And I am not wrong. It, it was 8.5 and up. It was 9 and up. It was always 9 and up. <laughs> when you see this, feel free to message on YouTube about how wrong he is. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's the going right, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, barley, barley. Barley's a good week. All right, so... Whoosh, like the wind. Is he on camera? Drunk he's falling there. over. There we go. Until he There's went behind the... Chad, he was. There we go. There yeah, we go. Yeah, that was the, the barley. The that barley was a barley wind. dance. Barley in the wind. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Bye. Love yous.